Oh no! Somebody touch him, us again! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And ever since the Infinity War trailer came out, people have asked for one thing. Well, maybe two things. Okay, fine, three things. And one of those things was how to do the spider sense effect from the trailer. So that's what we're doing today. Now I hear you ask, how the hell are we going to get this done? I mean, it's hairs raising up. How do they do that? Is it a digital effect? I mean, how do you do it? Well, let me tell you a story. I was playing with my son on the weekend with a balloon and guess what happens when you rub a balloon on either your arm or your head? Look what happens. Yes, that's right. We can do this effect 100% in camera using a balloon. Now in order to achieve this effect, we need to shoot our arm on a green screen or just behind a green bit of card if you've just got that. One thing you need to make sure is that you've lit the arm evenly from the front and you've also got a bit of a light at the back that'll highlight those hairs when they stand up. Now guys, one thing I will strongly recommend when you go to shoot this effect is that you use a white balloon. Now, why is that? Basically, when you go to shoot this thing, the balloon is gonna get pretty close to your arm. So what does that mean if you do have a colored balloon? It means that that color is going to spill onto your arm and you're gonna have a bad time trying to get rid of that. But if you use a white balloon, no problem at all. You'll also have to shoot your actor reacting to the arm that's not there. Essentially, just set the shot up with their arm in the frame, get them to remove their arm, just so they remember where the eye line is and just get them to react like the arms in the shot. And that's it guys. So let's jump into After Effects and get started. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I have my comp all ready to go. Now, if we take a look, you can see that we have two shots here. One of my arm on the green screen and one of me reacting to the arm. Now, I edited these two together in Premiere Pro to sync them up and I'll jump into Premiere really quick and show you that. Essentially, all I've done is get my arm footage on one track and then I've brought my actor footage in and place it on a track below it. Then all you have to do is head to the effects menu and lower the opacity on the arm layer. You'll then be able to see both layers and you can easily work out the timing before you highlight them both and send them through to After Effects. Or, you know, you can just do this in After Effects as well. Now, back in After Effects and back to our tutorial, our first step here is to create a garbage mat around our arm and remove that balloon entirely from the shot, which is pretty damn easy. Just head up, grab the pen tool and draw a rough mask, making sure you don't cut off any of the hairs on your arm. Done. From there, I'm gonna key out my footage. Now in order to key, I'll be using our better key method to punch up the green. I'll leave a card above to that episode, gang, so just check that out. Now, gang, my key light settings won't be anything like yours, given that our shots will most likely be quite different. But one thing I will mention that's important is that when you go to the screen matte settings, right here, that you keep the clip black settings to as low as possible. This is really the best way to keep as much of that information from the hair in your shot as possible after keying. You can also see that my clip white number is pretty high as well. But by all means, have a play until you achieve a similar result. One critical point is to make sure that that hair is 100% in focus. And also that that balloon doesn't cast a shadow when you lower it down near the arm. Okie dokie, we've keyed our arm out and it's looking good. So our next step is racking focus. Because at the moment, both our arm and our actor are in focus and we don't want that. So let's firstly head to our actor layer. I'm going to scrub forward on the timeline to around here where I first start to look up at the arm. Let's then head to effect, blur and sharpen it and add a camera lens blur. Now I'm going to crank this up to say 15 and then I'll hit the stopwatch on blur radius. I'll then skip ahead say 8 frames or so and then crank it back down to zero. Next, let's completely reverse that on our arm layer. Head back to that first point. We'll then copy and paste the blur effect on this layer like so. Let's then hit U on the keyboard to show those keyframes. And then we'll just change the values. We'll make that first keyframe zero, and then we'll head to the second frame and make that one 15. Awesome. We have our actor out of focus. We have the hair standing up on our arm. The actor sees them. And then our camera racks focus from the arm to the face. Now you may have noticed that in my shot, I start to get up and my arm moves. 
that's pretty easy too, gang. All I did was scrub along the timeline to the point where I started to move my arm around here, and then with my arm layer selected, we'll hit P on the keyboard, hit the stopwatch on position, and then I'll move ahead, say two frames, and I'll move the arm up a little. I'll skip ahead one frame, move it back down a little, and then I'll move ahead, say four frames, and completely move that arm off screen. I'll then also bring up rotation by hitting R on the keyboard, hit the stopwatch on that, and then I'll skip ahead a few frames and add a little rotation to my arm as it moves down, just to make the whole thing seem a little more natural. We'll then finish that off by enabling motion blur on the comp and the layer. One last cherry on top gang, whether you do this or not, totally up to you. All I did was just pre-compose everything into a new comp, and then I added a little camera shake from the camera shake plugin from Red Giant Universe, mainly just to give the shot a little bit more movement. That my friends, is our spider sense effect done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Oh no. Somebody touch him up again. So guys, that's my take on the spider sense effect from Avengers Infinity War. As you can see, it is ridiculously easy. All you have to do is a little bit of keying and then pretend to do a camera focus rack and you're done. And for those of you who are interested in that Avengers Infinity War title template, that is going to be the next episode. But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new here, why not hit subscribe? And even if you are subscribed, make sure those notifications are turned on guys. Click that bell. We've got some other film learning episodes right over here, as well as a playlist right up here. My social media crap is above my head. I post all the time. And until I see you again, guys, keep learning.